What's up, guys? Max here with another episode of the Scuttlebutt Show, and today we are reviewing Greyhound. Wait, not that Greyhound. What's up, guys? My name is Max. I'm the host of the Scuttlebutt Show. I'm a Navy veteran. I was in the Navy almost 14 years. This show, the Scuttlebutt Show, is all about life after the military, getting out of the military, the Navy, all that. We have the podcast, the Scuttlebutt Show, wherever you guys listen to podcasts. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get right to it. Greyhound is a new World War II film set during the Battle of the Atlantic, written by and starring Tom Hanks, who we know has a long history of making historical war content. My personal favorite being Toy Story, which was also our first introduction to Space Force. This film follows a convoy of ships crossing the Atlantic through an area known as the Black Pit, where they were alone at sea without air support for over five days while transitioning to Europe. This movie is based on a 1950s novel, The Good Shepherd by C.S. Forrester. Now, like I said, this movie was written by and stars Tom Hanks, but was directed by Aaron Schneider, who is not a very well-known or experienced director, but he did do the cinematography for Eminem's Lose Yourself music video, so... Tom Hanks is great in this movie as the commanding officer of the Greyhound, Captain Krauss. Now, little known fact about the Navy, even though in this movie his rank was commander, every ship CO is referred to as Captain. Hanks's portrayal of Captain Kraus is the whole film. There's basically no other characters in this film, and I honestly felt more attached to voices that you hear on the radio rather than any other actual character on screen alongside Tom Hanks. That's where this film struggled for me, is the character development. It's lacking majorly. We learn almost nothing about Captain Kraus before the start of the trek across the Atlantic, and absolutely no backstory on any other character throughout the entire film at all, ever. And, you know, that is disappointing, and I'm not sure if it was on purpose or just lack of story development. Uh, the film is only 90 minutes, so there's that. One other thing that kept popping up during the film is they're doing this thing with food. You'll see when you watch it, and I would love to hear your thoughts on it, uh, what, what that could mean if you want to hit me up in the comments down below about that. Now, some things that were great about this film, and there certainly are those, include the historical accuracies of the ship and crew, the sea battles, which start about three minutes into the film and last throughout nonstop, and then the visuals were spectacular, especially of the sea and the sky and the, the, the waves and the ships. Now, I was in the Navy from 2004 to 2017, and my last time on a ship was in 2008, so it's been a minute, but I do always love seeing military films set at sea. Some of my favorites are Men of Honor, USS Indianapolis, Men of Courage, Midway, and uh, Battleship, of course. It's always nice to hear phrases like, the screws are turning, and starboard, full rotor. Researching this film, I learned over 70,000 Allied forces were killed crossing the Atlantic, most sunk by German U-boats. I want to thank this movie for telling that story, which is largely unknown. All in all, I give this film one thumbs up and one thumb like halfway or whatever this is. I can definitely recommend it for a watch, especially for free on Apple TV Plus, but it's no saving Private Ryan. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment. There's more content like this coming out all the time. And until next time, out for now. <laughs>